students ask me this uh, that why not making a mnemonic video for antibodies okay antibodies are out there in the body and there are different kinds of antibodies what we need to understand is uh, the name and the associated function from individual antibodies we need to understand that we need to write that so how can we do that what is the possibility how how is possible so i said that i will make you understand about the antibodies and their roles within 10 minutes not 5 10 minutes so we'll set the timer and let's hop in because here i'll be talking about the tricks and mnemonics to remember the antibodies of the body the first thing are all the types of antibodies that we're discussing and for that i want you to understand and remember this particular image i think this image is so much lucrative that it will be printed in your brain this is basically a mad egg okay you can see that this egg is very mad so you can simply try uh, this particular word mad egg if you remember mad egg you'll be able to understand most of it so the first thing again i'll rearrange the words mad all capital egg eg both are capital so these are all the antibodies that we are going to talk about so let's see uh, m is igm immunoglobulin m then what we have we have a iga immunoglobulin a then we have d that is immunoglobulin d we have e that is ige or immunoglobulin e and then we have g that is immunoglobulin g so from immunoglobulin m to g m is the first kind of antibody that our body always produces and igg is the most abundant antibody that our body produces now you can see that this is very easy to remember m a d e g mad egg help you to understand igm a d e g the antibody m a d e g quite easily now what about their functions right so let's move on to the next slide where i'll talk about the function of all these antibodies so let's discuss about the functions now so again uh, you don't need to you should always remember mad egg and write down the name of the antibody based on that order then this sentence will guide you to understand about the functions of all these antibody in that order okay remember mad egg order first cry then be happy always now this is a situation with many people right it is and you can see this picture first seems like crying for this kid and then slowly seems like smiling first cry then be happy always if you remember this sentence you'll understand uh, the function of individual antibodies in the body so we have first cry then be happy always so modify a little bit okay so let's begin with it so we have mad egg so First antibody is IgM. Remember that order, MAD. So M A D, then E G. So IgM. First, first means this is the first antibody of the body produced in response to infection found in the blood and lymphatic fluids of our body. Next one, IgA. Okay, so MAD egg. Next one is A. What is the function? Cry. Cry means this antibody IgA is present in our tears. It is present in our tears. And this antibody is secretory antibody. It's found in our tears, in breast milk, provides protection against mucosal infections of the body. Then we have D, I, G, D, right? MAD, D for, the, so D, I, G, D. Then we have, say, first cry, then B, B. So B means B cells. So I, G, D found on the surface of B cells. So immunoglobulin D or antibody type D, they are present as a receptor of the B cell. So called as B cell receptor, okay? Then we have E, immunoglobulin E, antibody E. What is the job? Happy, H for histamine. Happy is for histamine. Although if you have more histamine in the body, you will not be happy because you will have hives. Involved in allergic response, triggers the release of histamine. Histamine causes inflammatory uh, response. It triggers other inflammatory response and produ production of inflammatory molecules in the, uh, in the body. So MAD egg, e, last one is G. And it is always, right? Why always? Because G is an antibody that is present in the body always. It's always ready to go antibody. Uh, it's a long-term antibody. It is produced uh, as a response, uh, as a secondary response. And once this antibody IgG is produced, it is long-term protecting us against the virus and bacteria and crosses the placenta. Remember also, it crosses the placenta to protect the developing fetus as well. So that is the job of IgG always igg is there always for long-term protection also crosses the placenta okay so these two different slides will give you 
clear understanding of not only the name of the antibodies but also their roles, their jobs, their functions. Now I'll move on to the last thing is about the role, the overall role of antibody in the blood. Not about single individual antibody but the overall role of antibody and again easy way to remember, quite easy here that is NAC O. You know NAC affiliates different colleges and universities with different grading NAC A plus, NAC A, B, C, D like that. So we have NAC O and it will help you to understand uh, because N is neutralization. Antibodies bind to the virus and bacterial toxins to prevent uh, for them to infect our cells. Okay. Next one is A. Agglutination. The job of antibodies is agglutination. Antibodies clump together pathogens to facilitate their clearance by the immune uh, cells. Next one is another A for antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity or antibody mediated cellular cytotoxicity. ADCC, okay, where antibodies recruit immune cells to destroy infected cancerous cells. Uh, infected cells means worm infected cells or cancer cells can be killed by ADCC, antibody mediated cellular or uh, antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity. Then we have last things here C, C for complement activation, that's another job of antibody. Antibodies activate the complement pathway that leads to the destruction of the pathogen in the body, that is C for complement activation then comes last one o o is opsonization what is opsonization antibodies coat the pathogens to make them more easily recognized and engulfed by the immune system cells by the phagocytic cells so nac o will help you to understand the role of antibodies in our body the overall role of every single antibody types that is present in the body and the last slide that i want to share is regarding the antibody structure how to remember the structure of the antibody what are the components i want you to see this image the image of a cab okay a cab that's what we remember it's basically a cab c a b okay c a b the mnemonic helps you to remember the regions of an antibody so c is constant region determines the class of antibody and its biological function in the body that is the constant region the constant region is fixed permanent is non-variable then we have a for antigen binding region okay so it's y-shaped antibody the y hands are the antigen binding regions this is variable region that recognizes and binds to specific antigens very specifically lock and key fit b is bridge region connecting two regions and stabilizes the antibody structure that is the bridge between the constant and the uh, antigen binding region of antibody. So if you remember CAB, you remember the structure of antibody. So you can see that not only understood the types of antibody, their functions, we also understood uh, the overall function of antibodies in body. We have also understood the different structural component of an antibody. I believe you have a clear understanding of antibody and its function and everything. If you like this video, please hit it. Hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel to get more and more and more videos like this because in this series we have talked about many tips and tricks related videos like this which will definitely help you for exam qualification. Thank you. Bye.